Hey YouTube, it's Amrit or Wish I Were a Hipster and I'm making this video for Conic Attack. I hope it's easy to follow. I don't think it's gonna be or I don't think it's gonna be as in depth as I'd like it to be, but I'll try my best. I haven't really messed with the program other than watching someone battle online with it. So wish me luck. First thing you wanna do is open up whatever you use for internet. I use for Firefox. And you want to go to this address, pokemon-online.eu. This is a simulator uh, toast website. They programmed it and everything. I'll have the link in the description. Uh, it's kind of like a blog thing. And they also have a wiki forum and all that. You can scroll down to download it or you can click download. I'm getting it for Windows. It's on version 1.0.53. And it's for Windows, Linux, and Mac. They also have a beta 0.8.3 for Android. And you can check that out, but I'm not going to because I have a horrible phone right now. And it takes you to sourceforge.net, and it takes five seconds for the download link to appear. And it, the installer file opens up, and you can save that to your desktop. It takes a few seconds to download. And just open that. It'll ask you if you want to open it and just hit run. It's a really easy setup. Oh, yeah, dude. Pick your language. There's not too many. Hit OK. Next. 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 Uh, you can pick if you want a desktop icon or a quick launch icon. I'm going to pick desktop and just install it. At the end of the installation, it's going to open up the program. Right there. And it's a simple UI. There's team builder, go online, credits, and quit. Credits is the product team and everyone that helped make it. The credit, or yeah, just click that. Quit to get out the program. Go online. Uh, if you have a firewall, click allow for all networks. This is where you can battle other people online. And you can double click to connect and stuff, but you need to make a team. You can also make your own. All you have to do is connect to your own server. It'll give you your IP. You can go back. And then team builder is the main thing. Uh, there's a few things I'm going to show you in the UI beforehand, though. You can save teams, load teams, make new ones, import. Uh, this is if you used to use NetBattle Supremacy or Shoddy Battle. I've never done that, so I don't have anything that I can do. And yeah, there's different styles. I like uh, clean looks. I use shoddy for the theme, but it usually comes like this, classic. I like white and black, so I like the center face the best. Uh, they also let you go from anything from Gen 1 to the newest gen. Uh, they have a few other options and plugin manager. I don't know what that's about yet. I decided to go check it out. Uh, I'm gonna just fill this out real quick. Uh, make this color black. I like black. Um, they have, I think, 263 different sprites that you can pick out of. Yeah, I like number 263, but I'm gonna go with 163. Uh, you can fill this information out for just basic information, a message if you win, a message if you lose, and then a tier thing. There's not much. They have a Pokedex. It's uh, not complete, but it's really in depth, I, like, I think. Uh, it starts out in alphabetical order. Or, you, or no, one, uh, 1 through 649. Or you can hit A through Z. Uh, yeah. Uh, it has profile, which has a description from Soul Silver Heart Gold, and then the abilities, stats, or basic stats, weakness, resistance, immunity, which is cool, and the move list that Pokemon can have. That's cool. You also have a box for uh, storing Pokemon that you make. 
All right, now for the team. You have six Pokemon right here, and you have the list of Pokemon over here. You can drag to see the picture if you don't know exactly what the Pokemon is or what it looks like. To pick the Pokemon to be on your team, first you pick what spot you want it to be on your team. And then you type in the name here. I want Charizard, so I'm gonna type in Charizard. And this hit enter, and then you get him. Uh, it comes out, or usually it's like this. And you can hit new window, or not new window. You can hit side window or new window to get the advanced options, which is um, the Pokemon's DVs its gender and his ability and whether it's happy and shiny there's not or well there's not much but there's a lot it's a lot of the game's main mechanics over here's your evs you get 510 and you can max out two to 252 i think yeah 252 you can spread it out however you want this is really good if you're trying to make the team in your actual game for a DS or Game Boy to figure out what you want in your Pokemon and help spread your DV or EVs out. You can pick your nature over here. And right here are your moves. Well, you just type in the moves you want. and You know how to use all four. You can pick whichever ones you want. I'm just going to give him four or her four different moves. Uh, it doesn't let you pick the same moves more than once. And it only lets you pick moves it, it can learn in game. And that depends on what gen you have up there. And then you can uh, type in another one. And then do it all over again. And then you save team. And it comes out like this. I'm not going to save this team, just, just to show you guys how it works. Um, I'll try making a more in-depth tutorial on this later on, and possibly a few online battles with friends or randies online on my main channel, which I were a hipster. And if you guys want to see any more tutorials, please let me know. I have one recorded that I haven't uploaded yet, but I'm going to try remaking it. It's for people out there who have a PS3 and want to use a controller online for games. So uh, I hope you guys check that out later. And uh, message us if you guys have any ideas on what you guys want to watch. I'll probably be making more Photoshop tutorials after school's over and I have more free time. Possibly some DJing videos if I ever get a mixing board and actually get serious about that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys liked my video. And the background music is Hit the Lights. If you guys want more music from them, I'll link you to their album on YouTube. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and please like and favor my video. Bye.